WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we got markets barely starting off to the downside right now. Dow futures, negative 49 points, trading 27,712. S&P, negative by 7, trading at 3,088. NASDAQ futures, negative by 22 points, trading at 82.43. Oil catching a little bit of a bid, up 42 cents at 57.54. 10-year yield backing off a bit at 1.83%, and the gold contract right now up $6.1469. This morning, we're going to get natural gas inventories at 10.30. We're going to get crude inventories at 11 a.m. That pushed back one day because of the Monday Veterans Day federal holiday. Start things off, we'll start it off with the VIX this morning. Quite a day yesterday, finishing to strength today, 13.35 in that volatility index. We'll jump over the charts, we'll start things off. Yesterday, of course, a little bit of trade worries in the middle of the day, but the market shook it off in a big way. We made it all the way up last night to a high of 27,803. Off of that level by a bit, 27,719 right now in the Dow. You back things up to yesterday's market action. We saw a little bit of volatility in the middle of the day, and there is your sell-off on the potential trade tariff news that China may be balking at the deal to, in terms of putting a numerical number on what kind of agricultural soybeans they will be buying but as i said market shook it off by the time you finish we were back up to the session highs nasdaq 100 8244 right now overnight we're as high as about 8284 s p 500 currently trading at 3089 crude oil as i mentioned we get the numbers for crude about two hours from right now 11 a.m eastern time we'll find out the eia inventories crude trading 57 dollars and 64 cents there's your gold contract, 1468, trading higher for most of the overnight session. Gold reached a high at about 4 a.m. of 1471, just a couple dollars above where we're at right now. And the euro US dollar trading at just under 110, 10998. In terms of what else you have happening out there, continuing trade news. China's Commerce Ministry says trade war should be ended by removing tariffs. Not sure if President Trump will be up for that. And Walmart, with their earnings last night, Beating, guiding up on their forecast, quite an acceleration to higher territory this morning, but backing off a bit. We had their earnings, we had their earnings call up to 125.69, now at 123.39. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up with Trade What You See right now. We'll be right back.